Go ahead. And publish. Set up a standard. Uh -huh. Publish and conceal not. We're not concealing, man. We're, we're, we're telling you the secrets of the scriptures. We're giving you the whole skinny, man. What these prophecies are concluding and coming down to. All right, go ahead. And set up a standard. Publish and conceal not. Say, Babylon is taken. Baal is confounded. Uh -huh. Muradak is broken in pieces. Uh -huh. Her idols are confounded. Your energy, man, your way are going to be confounded, man. Because right now, you, you believe that your way of idolatry is giving you more power. You believe that your idolatry is the way to live, man. It's your YOLO backwards Illuminati style, man. Uh -huh. All right, go ahead. And that standard also is also the banner that's spoken of in Isaiah 13, right there in the beginning. System. This is the room, new Roman system, okay? And Yahweh Shah is going to sit in holy host, man. And crush the head of the serpent, man. It's going to be over. Okay? More? And it says, Romans 12 and 6, uh, 16 and 20. It says, And the power of peace shall prove Satan under your feet shortly. The grace of our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach be with you, Amen. the north cometh a nation against her which shall make her land desolate and none shall dwell therein. That's talking about Russia. selfie they're going to put on Snapchat or whatever it is, man. They don't realize that uh, uh, world powers are colliding as we speak. And it's going to end your convenient world. Your convenient Starbucks life is going to come to an abrupt halt when that happens. And it's prophesied, man. We just listed at least 12 nations in Syria right now fighting for it on completely different agendas. All nuclear capable. The scripture says it's going to end in, in, in a conflict. It doesn't say peace is going to be made. So you should measure the time diligently, right? Read. All right. It says, and when thou seest part of the signs past, which I told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest would begin to visit the world which he made. Boom. So when you, when you see these things happening, then you know we're approaching those times. Okay. Go ahead. Verse 3. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, boom, Venezuela, we named that. Qatar, we named that. Iraq, Afghanistan, Syria, Brazil, Brazil. Uh, uh, Michigan, okay, Greece, Greece, yep. England, terrorism. Coming to Germany and France, by the way, most likely. All right, civil war in Yemen, okay, Pakistani. And uh, uh, the, uh, the Pakistani and Indian people are in conflict right now. There's an all-out martial law in the Philippines. North Korea is shooting off all types of ballistic missiles. How much more do I have? Mean, do I need to name some more examples? Oh, let's go to Nigeria. How about the conflicts that are going on in the Congo? Huh? Ethiopia, completely broken nation. All right. Not to mention all the earthquakes. I mean, goodness gracious. When you couple that with the fracking that they're doing all uh, all in the Western world, that's making even more earthquakes fulfilling prophecy. And okay. the, uh, the oil that they that they said that they was uh, drilling over there at uh, Standing Rock. Yeah. That's where had an oil spill. It's already had oil leak. Right. So the things that, they, you know, that, that Gad was, uh, yeah. and Ruben was 
was uh, you know standing against already already I mean, started. It, two months didn't pass before exactly what the Native Americans was arguing about. It happened. Yeah. Immediately the oil leaked into the water. It was like, man, you guys are some demonic people, man. What type of demon would authorize that? Oh, I know what type. Yeah. Go ahead. Second Genesis chapter 9, verse 4. Then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. Oh, second, uh, second Peter, the third chapter. But the people didn't want to listen. And the scriptures always talk about when all of these things begin to culminate because people have a little small microwave mind. So they think 20 years is a long time. 20 years is not a long time, man. All right? The Most High does things oh, in, 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 in dispatching of time and the process. Okay, go ahead. Verse 5. For like as all that is made in the world has the beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. Whoa. Whoa. We're watching the end manifest itself in this world, man. Go ahead. Even so, the times also of the highest Batteries. have plain beginnings in wonder and powerful works and endings in effects and signs. Mm -hmm. And everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith, whereby ye have believed, you shall be preserved from the said perils and shall see my salvation in my land and, with, and within my borders. So we have to see the destruction, the, the culmination of the end of this place before we see the uh, salvation of our people, man. The destruction and salvation are hand in hand. They're not separated, okay? One thing has to end and another thing has to be begin. It's just true, all right? What we're telling you is that Western society is going to destroy itself. It's about to end. As they push forward into their new digital system, there's going to be a conflict. And you're going to lose dramatically. Why? Because you've been following the prophecies all the way up until this point. All right. Oh, yeah. Bring that out. Because this is the mindset of the people. Go ahead. Uh, this is uh, 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 1. Yeah. Say, this second epistle of beloved I now write unto you, in both which I stir up your pure minds by way of remembrance. Go ahead. That ye be mindful of the words which were spoken before by the holy prophets. Uh huh. Now, we, they, they, he's telling you that you should be mindful. Go ahead. Say, and of the commandment of us, the right. apostles. Go ahead. Say, so, um, so they're constantly we're going into the Old Testament and giving you the prophecies and the culmination of it. That's what the apostles and disciples were doing back then. That was the argument back then. All right? The argument was always about prophecy. We're prophesying to you now. Go ahead. Let's say... I'm uh, says of uh, uh, Yahweh and Savior, knowing this verse that there shall come in the last days scoffers uh -huh. walking after their own lust, saying, yeah. So there's gonna be scoffers in the last uh -huh. days. Keep reading. Say, Where is the promise of his coming? They're gonna say, Where is the promise of his coming? Read. For since the father fell asleep, uh -huh. all things continue. Uh, as they were from the beginning of the creation. Oh, you guys always been talking that madness, man. Everything's the same, man. We're going to go Saturday day party tomorrow. The hell, you know, what are you talking about? Go ahead. To say, uh, uh, for this, uh, yeah, uh, for this, they willingly are ignorant of. Uh, they're willingly ignorant, man. They just press on in their status quo, peonic, moronic mind life. Just feeding the system. Feeding Rome as you've been trained as a baby. Just back in the ancient world, you, there was these stories and mythological stories of Rome that everybody was classically trained in. It didn't matter where you were. Wherever the empire reached, you had to learn about Rome. How much more is it about the U.S.? It's the same thing. Go ahead. This is, yeah, it says, that by the word of Yahweh, the heavens were of old. Yeah, add on real quick. Uh -huh. They're on the collision course, just like you see chicken. You know when somebody plays chicken? Yeah. They see the object coming, and they thinking like, well, I'm not going to turn. 
Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. That's what the world, they see their debt. Yeah. They see the infrastructure. Woo. They see the buildings closing. But what do they do? They say, well, shit, it's, it's going to get better. But them themselves won't do anything to better themselves. Absolutely. They Absolutely. think it's just going to match because they're you. Because like you spoke earlier, this society has pushed that fast, oh, easy. It, oh, it's ready meals, ready this, ready that. So they think, oh, it's going to be easy fix. No, this problem is, is heavy, man. Yeah. That's why you read half a clip that I bought, y'all, that thick debt has... This place is done. Yeah. There's, there's only an, it's an inevitable end. It's going to fall. They just got to figure out how they're going to make the thing. It's like a controlled demolition. Yep. When you got to put, you got to position the charges at the right spot, the, the, the right means, the right supports, then you make sure it falls where you want it to fall. That's what he saw us getting ready to do. It's going to be a controlled demolition. Yep. 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 Bad man, it's going to be hella tanks and helicopters. Two missiles on that on that control demolition. <laughs> uh, sure ain't gonna fly through that bad boy. It ain't gonna go the way he thinks, yeah. you know. Man. It's gonna go. That this thing is just gonna absolutely go haywire. All right. And then, and then these people, they they see that that, that infrastructure of America is, is broken, but they continue 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 to live their life because they. Here, man. Yep. Hey, man, this has been the place of our punishment.